Hey everybody, this is Buddy and Laura, and we're going to the movie theater. This is the one in Ozark, Ozark Nixa 12. I guess that stands for they got 12 movies playing. But the movie that we're going to see is, what's it called, Laura? Adventure, Adventures Infinity War. Adventures Infinity War. Now, what we're gonna do is, that's the, uh, that's the, you know, the picture for it. What do they call these things? It's, they call it a uh, poster. It's a poster. <laughs> Shit, that's what that is. Okay, what we're gonna do is give you a in-depth uh, review, um, talk about after the movie. We're not going to spoil it for anybody, but we're going to, in other words, you'll find out, did we like it? Did we give it two thumbs up, three thumbs up, or what? But that's, I think they got a real colorful poster. Well, Laura and I enjoyed the uh, movie. Um, can't go into detail about it. Don't want to give away, you know, the ending for anybody. But um, one of the main things about the gist of the movie that kind of got me was uh, the time anomalies and how they were manipulating time in multiple dimensions. Not to even mention multiple universes and realities running parallel at the same time. So when I got home, I was going to look up what other people had said about it. And I came across this new guy. He was talking about time and um, how linear, t linear time is totally not what we've ever been told. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce my audience to this guy. And um, so as soon as I get through talking, you'll see a video from him. And you'll see that uh, there are more ways to understand that we control our own timelines than we've ever been told. And the power of quantum understanding when it comes to how we see the past and the future and how we handle it in this now, in this, this time that we call now. Look, he explains it way better than I can, so that's why I want to introduce my audience to him. So. You'll see his video coming up next. One of the more persistent illusions of this reality is time, uh, specifically the concept of linear time, which is actually an illusion. Uh, linear time doesn't, doesn't really exist. But from the time that we're very young, we're taught that it does. We're taught to treat the past as an actual thing that happened and is over. We're taught to think that the future is this actual place that's gonna arrive, but that's an illusion because the past isn't real. Neither is the future. The past, that's a word that we use to describe another present moment. The future is another word that we use to describe a present moment. It's all happening simultaneously. Through our individual consciousness, we have this illusion that this is all there is. But it's kind of like if you're in a house that's got all these rooms. Well, you may be in the living room and somebody else might be in the kitchen and someone else might be in the, in the bedroom, but they're all in the same house. And so the house represents the present moment. There's just different experiences of the present. This can be very useful if we realize that everything is happening right now. So that thing that you think happened way back when, well, there is a version of you that is perpetually experiencing that moment. And there's a version of you, if you imagine forward to the future and you imagine yourself next Thursday afternoon doing a certain task or with a certain person, where you can imagine that, right? But it's not happening then. It's actually happening right now, elsewhere in this quantum field. And here's where it gets really interesting and actually very useful because when you're remembering something, I mean, you can do it right now. Think back to this morning, right? When you woke up and you were getting ready for your day. Well, right now you are remembering that. You're, you're experiencing it as something that's already over. But check this out. Right now, you can also imagine something in the future. You can imagine yourself tonight getting ready to go to sleep after a long day. But here's the thing. When you're imagining something, you're actually catching 
the memory of your future self. So just as right now you can remember back to the version of you that was waking up this morning, well, what if the version of you that's waking up this morning is imagining to where you are right now? Memories and imagination are the same thought energy. We're just experiencing them from different sides of this illusion. So how does this become practical? Well, since everything that ever has existed, does exist, will exist, is all happening simultaneously, we're just experiencing it through these different subjective individuations of consciousness. That means that you can literally feel for and you can literally access that version of you that's in the future experiencing your highest and best reality, your highest and best outcomes. You may feel like you're imagining forward and you might feel like you're being creative, but the reality is you're simply receiving the memory of that version of you. It all exists right now and through the very useful illusion of time, we can experience different versions of ourself and you can actually make your intuition tactical. You can begin to feel for those best next thoughts. Just know that those thoughts are coming to you from the version of you that's already experienced it. And in doing this, you collapse impossibilities into possible. Possible to probable, probable to inevitable, and inevitable into your current reality. None of it's preordained, none of it's pre-written. Reality is infinitely malleable. And in this ever present moment of right now, you can begin to feel for and receive the thoughts that are the most aligned for you right now. Time piercing is a thing. Linear time is a very useful illusion. And life gets a lot easier when we begin to practice it.